Welcome back. You two, Soma del Piso here, back once again. Today, we're going to continue our mini series of uh, health and semen retention. We're gonna go on to another system of the body, a system that, in fact, is one of the most important of the entire body, right? The entire process of living, of achieving that homeostasis. We're gonna talk about ner the nervous system and how it relates to the practice of semen retention. The nervous system. The nervous system. I'm a little nervous. I don't know if I'm ready to talk about this kind of... I think that you should just calm your nerves, so to speak, and allow someone del Piso to communicate what he's been trying to talk about in relation to the nervous system and semen retention. I think it'll do wonders for your, uh, your nerves. <laughs> I hope so, I hope so, oh my goodness, okay. What is the nervous system? The nervous system is the part of the body that controls the transportation of nerve cells around the body to do various reflexive functions, motor, sensory functions, and of course, cognitive function as well. Of course, the cognitive stuff that all go, happens in the central nervous system, which is like the epicenter, the mothership of the entire system. So that's like your brain, where all that stuff occurs, you know, the cerebellum, the hippocampus, whatever. And then there's the spinal cord, which is sort of like the transportation system for the instructions of the brain to the various parts of the body. There's also the peripheral nervous system, which uh, accepts all of the signals and actions and commands from the mothership, the central nervous system of the brain. That peripheral ner uh, nervous system has various nerves connected to all different parts of the body. The nervous system communicates with the various parts of the body through the, the means of neurons. Neurons are holders of nerve energy and they communicate with other neurons in order to get their desired instruction across to that part of the body or to initiate some sort of function. Now, how, what does this even have to do with the practice of semen retention? Remember, I spoke about this in all, a lot of my other videos. You gain all of the benefits that I spoke about, the physical benefits, the mental benefits, the spiritual and metaphysical benefits. Those uh, end gains are achieved through the retention of your semen, which creates this gross product, right? This incredibly special gross product. What this gross product does is for the nervous system is that it strengthens the synapses in your brain. What the synapses in your brain does is that it's responsible for memory, it's responsible for the, the withdrawal of old memory. It is responsible for habit and pattern configuration. Say for instance, there is a way that you've been responding to a certain stimuli for a very, very long time in your life. Like maybe uh, whenever you see three strong hurly-burly men coming towards you, there is this instant feeling of nervousness, is this instant feeling of uh, aggression. Due to the practice of semen retention, this gross product goes into the process of the creation of, the, of that response, that reflexive response that is due to the, the neurons firing and whatnot. The neurons take some sort of sentience, almost, and you then start to think about the reasons why you are responding in a certain way. As we know in this life, a lot of people tend to respond to stimuli, whether that be physical stimuli, the, uh, the arrival of three hurly-burly men, or maybe the arrival of a challenge of some sort. They respond to it in a specific way all the time. There's no questioning, there's no introspection about the way that they respond because nerves, the, the, how nerves work, the speed of, of nerve signals to neurons are almost instantaneous. They don't have time to really think about these things. Gross product that's being formed through this practice, you, you insert into your neurons and synapses this gro the gross product, and the gross product delivers this idea of sentience to the nerves. So as that is being reinforced, as you are continuing on the practice, you are now thinking about every single response that you have to your stimuli, to, to the stimuli that, that presents you on a day to day, to your challenges. And then you then make a, are able to make a decision. You are able to now either respond affirmatively to the challenge in front of you or negatively, right? Instead of just being a, an automaton. So the idea of the nervous system is to create a sort of homeostasis for the body. What that means is all making sure that 
because there's the remember there's another part of the nervous system that I didn't speak about it's this is the uh, the autonomic nervous system and what this is responsible for are for all the actions in the body that are perform autonomously like breathing like bowel movement like a heartbeat for the circulatory system which is responsible for blood going around the body that's gonna come in another video the autonomic nervous system uh, when that is at a and uh, a balance then homeostasis is is at a um, is achieved. All of the systems of the body are fine. The temperature of the body is regulated, and you are performing the best that you can due to your health conditions at that particular moment. How semen retention helps with achieving homeostasis is that it go it pushes the body past that. Homeostasis. A lot of people are not even performing at homeostasis because there's a lot of outer. Uh, factors of our environment that we ingest on the daily, such as maybe bad air, radiation from our phones, uh, radiation from uh, the signals that are being projected by, from cell towers. And due to that, our nervous systems are not at a state of homeostasis. We uh, tend to react. And it all, remember, the nervous system has a lot to do, if in fact is completely correlated with brain activity. If you are responding a certain way to a certain type of stimuli uh, in a negative way that's not very constructive, that's due to a lack of homeostasis being reached in the body. So the nervous system could uh, is responsible for all of our behaviors, or all of our reflexive behaviors, all of our conscious behaviors as well, because remember all that behavior comes from the brain, which is the epicenter of the nervous system, it's part of the central nervous system. Because the brain and the central nervous system is responsible for conscious and unconscious behavior, the more you do a certain behavior, the more it is reinforced in your brain, in the nervous system, due to uh, the synapses being formed, those pathways being formed more and more effectively. Those behaviors are not necessarily positive, they're not necessarily negative. And it takes a very long time to if you know if you are aware of that behavior even if you do become aware of that behavior that you'd like to change it or adjust it in a certain way this world is full of people that operate purely in a reflexive manner due to the nature of their intricately woven nervous systems they respond a certain way to a certain type of stimuli, a certain type of challenge. The nervous system is responsible for the behavior that's produced when you see or you're presented with a certain type of personality even. Due to the practice of semen retention, remember you are in that gross product that is being uh, injected into the neurons of your nervous system give it this sort of sentience to be reflective of those type of behaviors and adjust the synapses that were created due to years and years of reinforced behavior. You can create new behaviors. You can, cre you can reinforce old ones. You can even destroy old pathways. This is why the practice of semen retention is incredibly important because you are, instead of responding a certain way to a certain type of, of stimuli, of external stimuli, you are able to be reflective of the way that you respond to an external stimuli, stimuli and change that behavior, which is more than that can, that can be said for most people on this planet. Most people on this planet, like I said, move very autonomously. They, they are products of reinforced behaviors which are due to their environments, due to their uh, experiences, due to uh, prevailing politics at a certain time, I'm not, you know, whichever it could be. Because, you know, you are following this channel, because you are uh, producing that gross product from the practice of semen retention, you are creating this sort of form of sentience for your neurons and you are able to challenge the behaviors that you were that you were reinforced with through due to your nervous system and change them adjust them to ways that could service you you can create a completely new slate and change your behavior that is the power of semen retention in relation to the nervous system the one thing that you should get from this video is that the power of semen retention can reinforce the nervous system in ways that could change your behavior, change your perception, and change your, 
your suggestibility to the outside world, which makes you less apt to be manipulated, less apt to be controlled by your external factors uh, and stimuli due to the production of this gross product that in turn imbues the power of sentience to your neurons that allow them to question the behaviors that are being programmed to it as they occur. This is one of the many, many reasons why semen retention is such a wonderful practice. And that is all I have to say about the nervous system and semen retention today. If you enjoyed that content, please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, please share the video with some peers. Some of the piso out. Please do not let this world get you down. Stay radiant. I'll see you guys in the next one. Whoa!